Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. Kyungi Province has formed a task force to prevent the launch of anti-North Korean leaflet balloons, deeming it to be an act that jeopardizes the lives and safety of local residents. The province also established an emergency network encompassing police offices and border regions, as well as southern provincial regions, so as to facilitate swift reports of and responses to balloon launching activities. Potential balloon launching areas will be closely monitored and those who launch such balloons will be arrested. Kyungi Province has designated 40 SMEs that have exhibited high growth potential as star enterprises for 2020. The designated enterprises will receive intensive need-based support in select fields, including design development, domestic and international exhibition participation, and marketing. Enterprises located in six cities that receive matching investments, Songnam, Hwasong, Yongin, Shihung, Pyeongtaek, and Ichan, will receive support of up to 7.6 million Korean won while those based in other regions will receive up to 3.8 million Korean won. 특히 올해는 코로나19 등으로 인한 기업의 경영 애로 해소를 위해 사후 정산 방식의 지원금을 선 지급 방식으로 변경하는 등 기업 맞춤형 지원을 통하여 경기도를 넘어 대한민국을 대표할 강소 기업으로 우뚝 서도록 지원토록 하겠습니다. Gyeonggi Province recently designated the period until September 30th as a heat wave response period, during which special response measures will be implemented by the Gyeonggi Disaster and Safety Headquarters. During this period, the province will allocate a total of 12.6 billion Korean won for the installation of heat shelters, such as smart tents and parasols, as well as for the planting of shade trees at more than 2,000 locations. To prevent the spread of COVID-19 during this period, indoor heat shelters will remain closed while the use of artificial mist facilities and fountains will be discouraged. Kyungi Province has issued its first administrative order to prevent the launch of anti-North Korean leaflet balloons. In addition to the issuance of this order, which specifies risk areas and prohibited activities, warnings were posted jointly with Pochon City at high-pressure gas facilities. The warnings were posted by 38 personnel, including the Kyungi Province Vice Governor for Peace, as well as officials of the Kyungi Province Special Judicial Police, Pochon City, and Korea Gas Safety Corporation, in addition to fire and emergency rescue personnel. During a recent crackdown in Kyungi Province on the distribution and usage of bad eggs, including those with broken shells, a large number of violators were apprehended. The Kyungi Province Special Judicial Police announced that among the 424 egg distributors and restaurants it investigated during the period from April 27th to May 8th, a total of 68 violations were uncovered at 65 locations. 유통업자들이 그 생산 농장에서 생산을 한 알을 받으면 보통 한 400원에 이렇게 받거든요. 음식점에 판매할 때는 또 1,000원 가지고 팔고. 그럼 천 원에 받은 업자는 실질적으로 그 결안을 살려면 보통 한 삼천 오백 원에서 한 삼천 팔백 원 하는데 한 이천 원 이상의 그 이익을 보게 되는 거죠. Kyungi Province's design drawing support program for apartment repairs has proven effective in reducing costs while improving construction quality for residents. Out of a total of eighteen sites that received free provincial design drawing support. During the period from January to May this year, 15 benefited from this program through reduced expenditures. The remaining six sites also benefited from the program, which helped improve safety elements through work specification reviews. The Kyungi Province 
공동주택 관리 문화가 투명하고 효율적으로 관리할 수 있도록 적극 노력해 나가겠습니다. After a long COVID-19 induced suspension period, Gyeonggi Province resumed the regular supply of fruit to child care centers from June 15th. From last year, the province had been supplying a variety of fruits once or twice weekly to 367,000 children at all child care centers, local children's centers, and children's homes in the province. In order to promote healthy dietary habits among children, the province will supply free locally produced fruit to these facilities a total of 43 times this year. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.